Hey guys, we're going on back in with another video. As you can see on the screen in the title, it's going to be a quick review for the Multiverse of Madness. I'm actually still in the parking lot, so you might hear kind of like people talking and yelling and a lot of music and maybe cars and horns and stuff like that. So I'm still in the movie theater parking lot. Uh, I literally just got out from an early 5 o'clock um, preview. Uh, the movie comes out tomorrow on Friday. Uh, today's Thursday about uh, 8 p.m. I went in about 5 p.m. So... Uh, I don't know exactly what time it is right now. I guess I should have looked, but um, it's actually a really good movie. Uh, the last, ironically, the last movie review I did was for Morbius. And um, I can kind of sense now and see what Disney and Marvel were planning, uh, how they have like these themes going on for like maybe three movies at a time, almost like a trilogy of sorts. Um, because I know over the years, um, Marvel and superhero movies have gotten this like negative, um, maybe like stigma or niche, uh, that people just kind of call it like popcorn movies and stuff like that, uh, or, bi or big blockbuster, ho um, Hollywood like, uh, special effects movies. Kind of like Michael Bay has his own style and stuff like that. Some of these directors and, and studios have their own style. So, if you saw the last review, and I'll probably link it just in case you want to go back and look at it. Um, it's kind of that same idea of a 80s, 90s afternoon horror movie. And that's kind of what Morbius was about. And that's probably why a lot of people don't like it. So not to get too dramatic or political or, or whatever, but um, it's going to be interesting to see. People hated on Morbius. People mocked Morbius and made fun of Morbius. Now, this one is made by Sam Raimi, another, or Sam, Sam Raimi, another uh, horror movie director. So it's going to be still in line of that Morbius, uh, I don't want to say B movie, but like, a, let's just, let's just say an 80s, uh, 90s horror movie was that Morbius about like vampires and, and maybe even like Frankenstein and stuff like that. So Doctor Strange, um, you're probably a little bit misled by the trailers and stuff like that. Maybe even the movie poster thing. It's going to be all like big special effects. Maybe some Marvel characters and, and stuff like that. But uh, that's all kind of just for advertising or marketing or promoting. You don't really get too much of that. It's kind of the same thing like an 80s, 90s horror movie. So... If by chance you saw Morbius and you were really super uh, disappointed about Morbius, you're going to probably be the same way about Doctor Strange. And ironically, and I guess it was intended, the name Doctor Strange is going dictate, to dictate to you that this is a strange movie, almost like The Matrix where there's dreams and Inception, where there's dreams within dreams and worlds upon worlds and multiverses and stuff like that. So... Um, again, if you are easygoing, you're, you love movies, you'll watch anything, uh, you like maybe old school movies, throwback movies and stuff like that, you like classics and stuff like that, you're going to really like it. Now, if you're on the hate train, let's call it, for the whole Morbius uh, movie that it was horrible, the special effects look pretty crappy and, and stuff like that, it's not that the Morbius special effects were crappy, it was um, made to look like a old classic 80s, 90s Saturday night special on, you know, USA Network or uh, whatever back then. I don't remember specifically. Uh, so Doctor Strange is the same exact thing. Um, it It's going to have that old school 80s, 90s horror movie where uh, everybody knows, so it's not like a spoiler, but I probably will lead into spoilers, so that's a, probably a good segue, is that um, Scarlet Witch is pretty much the evil character. She plays like a same thing, like a horror movie villain that's coming after you. Uh, try, and you're trying to escape going from place to place. You're running away. She's trying to catch you. Uh, a lot of um, blood and and kind of like death and stuff like that. A lot of, again, like hor horror and like witchcraft type stuff. So that's what you're in line for. If by chance you're going to think it's going to be like Spider-Man, kind of like that happy-go-lucky Spider-Man, you know, high school kids and stuff like that. Uh, you're going to be surprised and you might not like it. So again, if you saw Morbius or you've heard how bad Morbius is, um, or people people that didn't see it called it a bad movie, uh, this is kind of the same thing. So keep in mind that you're going to um, definitely have to be open-minded, let's say, and and maybe appreciate the way that uh, you know Morbius was in the 80s, 90s. I guess maybe because of that whole millennial thing that they were going to the movies now, they have kids that they're bringing to the movies, so they want... 
uh, if you're in your 30s and 40s, maybe 50s, 60s, older than that. If you have kids now, you're bringing your kids to the movies, you, you're bringing your kids to see what they want to see, but at the same time, it caters to that those millennials that grew up in the 80s and 90s. Um, so you're going to... I guess they're looking to make those parents happy. Maybe if those people who grew up in the 80s and 90s hate superhero movies, that's going to kind of cater to them. Maybe word of mouth that, hey, this is kind of like an 80s, 90s movie. You might like it. And the people that you're telling it to might say, hey, I really love the 80s and 90s movies. Uh, and now with some spoilers really quickly, I'm not going to do the after credits. So if you by chance want me to upload something different with the after credits, uh, I'll go into that. But um, as far as the 80s, 90s, it definitely plays into that Evil Dead. There's even the Evil Dead Ash Williams kind of like um, cameo in it, let's say. Uh, you know, there's different multiverses and zombies and Evil Dead. The Nep- Necronomicon is in it. Or, or, or the book is kind of like to mimic the the, ne- the Book of the Death and stuff like that. There's a lot of that 80s, 90s Evil Dead, um, you know, Book of the Dead, Necronomicon type stuff, witchcraft. Uh, those are little uh, Easter eggs that if you're probably like 15, 18, 20, 25 years old, you might not know any of the references. You're going to probably say this movie's terrible. Uh, I, don't know, I didn't understand anything that was going on. Um, you're going to have to kind of dig into it, do some research. But people that are older that know like, oh, that's supposed to be that. That's that character from Evil Dead, you know, zombies and stuff like that. So. Um, and there's a lot of dimension hopping. I think I might have even seen maybe some like Terminator references in there and stuff like that. Um, you know, Terminator 2 references and stuff like that. But uh, that might be a kind of a, a reach. Um, but again, like I tell people, I'm not trying to convince anyone. This is kind of my, um, you know, I guess what people usually call it like um, honest review. And I'll probably title that again. It's like an honest review. I'm not trying to get sponsored by Marvel or Disney or get sent to go see movies for free. Because that's the unfortunate thing that I mentioned last time is when it comes to movie reviews, everybody wants to get sponsored. Everybody wants free trips. Everybody wants free tickets. Everybody wants to be featured. And they'll say whatever they want to say. So Marvel or Disney or whoever uh, the studio is gives them like free tickets and, and stuff like that, um, you know, whatever. So honest review is, you know, it's going to be more like the 80s again, 80s, 90s style that Marvel's kind of going after the last couple movies. Um, a lot of zombie references in it, obviously, uh, horror movies, slasher movies, the villains coming after you, you're running away. Uh, probably a bunch of stupid stuff happens. You know, you're running away from the character then why would the character do why would the the hero do this you know and, and stuff like that so um i did like america chavez isn't it that was a, like i didn't know anything about it except for seeing a couple of trailers and the posters i love that i was surprised that america chavez was in it because i collect a lot of comics and cards and stuff like that and i'm familiar with some of the characters um so that was a kind of a nice surprise for me to see her in it um that's the other thing too kind of it has nothing to do with it, but the only thing I can think of uh, about is um, uh, Dora the Explorer. But that might sound like kind of a not cool thing to say. Um, but it, rem- America Chavez kind of reminded me of that like time traveling Dora the Explorer going from place to place and stuff like that. Maybe that's what they were intended why they threw her in the movie. Thought maybe that's a cool little Easter egg if it is. Uh, so I'm going to wrap it up with that. If you have any questions, let me know. If you saw it, you don't agree or disagree, let me know. Uh, but this is what I took from it. Uh, again, I'll probably maybe do something with the after credits also. I'll see you guys later.